Look, you're going to see me squinting because I've taken the sides off my, uh, my little tent to enjoy the sunshine here. So bear with me if I'm squinting away and just really let's take this practice into our hearts, into our body and fill ourselves with lots of lovely nourishment and good vibrations and really energizing ourselves for the best possible start to our weekend and to kind of put all that nature and just health into your body that's what i'd love you to feel at the end of today really healthy so the plan is we'll focus on our breathing to start us off and then we're going to move through our gentle movements all about lengthening and getting rid of stress tightness or tension and then we're going to like anyone who's here at me last saturday we're going to do the five minute meditation in stillness at the end and then we'll finish in a lovely relaxation and i'll leave you there so just take as much bliss and holistic self-care as you can out of this practice and only do what feels good particularly if like a lean you've got migraine going on or you're tired or whatever's going on and excuse the squinting i forgot my sunglasses but i can handle that so i hope you can too all right guys so we start sitting really tall lengthen up through the crown of the head allow the eyes to close and focus on deep full breaths here so work on trying to lengthen, lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders, and just finding that little piece of stillness and ease as you breathe deep, full in-breaths and long, slow exhales. So slow and deep with the breathing, tuning into your body, and consciously letting go of tightness or tension or stress or any resistance your body is feeling to being here this morning to moving to breathing to being out of bed whatever it is let's just drop all that and focus on our hearts on our bodies on our breath long slow deep inhales and deep full exhales So as you drop into a peaceful, easy stillness, just tuning into how your body is feeling today. Being aware of your muscles, being aware of your breathing. Tuning into your mind. And just consciously deciding to drop everything away and gift yourself this lovely time for your body healing and nurturing and strengthening. So deep, full in breaths, long, slow exhales. And let's set your intention for your class this morning. Take a moment here to tune into why you've come to class and what you want to get from this practice. And then finding a slow rhythm in your breath, chest and tummy rising and chest and tummy softening. Maybe keeping that mantra, inhaling peace and exhaling, releasing. And then we're going to try our square breathing today where we inhale for four. We're going to try and hold the breath for four. We exhale for four. And we hold again the breath for four. Any of my expectant mums or if you have a migraine or restrictions in your breath today, that might be too much. The hold will be the bit that'll get you. So you might want to drop that hold to two and do your own count. However, it feels good for you, we'll go for four, 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 four. So lengthening tall, lift the heart, soften the shoulders, Feel the neck really long. And when you're ready, slowly and gently and peacefully, we're going to inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, 
two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Two more. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. And just drop that count. But keep the breath really slow and smooth and steady. And just working on finding that pause after the inhale. And then after your exhale, just drop into that small pause again. So slow, deliberate pauses after the in-breath and after the exhale breath. Feeling centered and grounded and still. And throughout our class this morning, just really coming back to those deliberate pauses of the breath, coming back to your stillness, coming back to an internal peace in your heart, in your belly, and really thinking this morning about nurturing every level of your body and slowing your breath right down. So keeping those peaceful, soft breaths. Lift the heart, soften the shoulders, and we're gonna take right ear towards the right shoulder. Letting the weight of the head come all the way over towards your ear, stretching it out. And gently come to center. Opposite ear coming to the opposite shoulder. So it's an ear towards shoulder motion. The neck is lengthening. And slowly come to center. Then we lift the chin up, let the head hang back. So when you're lifting the chin, think about the heart lifting as well, looking all the way up. And we come to center. And then we nod the chin to the chest, lengthen out the back of the neck. And slowly we come to center. We allow the eyes to open and we take the arms to face each other. So the, the class starts the same every single class. But that's your moving meditation to come out of your head into your heart. Let's cross right over left and on your in-breath, really loosening out the shoulders by lifting up really high into the fingers. And as you exhale, draw the arms down. So these movements become very familiar and that instantly connects you into your body and your breath and you leave all the crap behind. Floating up and drawing down. And once more, nice big in breath. And a long, slow, deep exhale. Then we uncross the arms, we take opposite arm over. Same thing with the breath, we inhale and stretch really high. And as we exhale, we draw the arms back down. Inhale, reaching and stretching a little higher. And slowly and gently releasing. And once more, stretch and reach and lengthen high and gently release. Uncross the arms, 
placing your hands on your knees. Go for big, juicy shoulder rolls here. So move the shoulders as much as you can, inviting any tightness or tension to leave the body and really working on that lovely flow of energy. And then we go opposite direction. So move the shoulders, working out any kinks and back to center, hands a little wider than the hips, right arm comes up and we side bend here. So really stretch and lengthen and bend to the side, create that space between the rib and hip, chin is away from the chest, lengthen and stretch. And we're holding for three breaths here. So inhale deeply and exhale fully, long in breath and exhale fully. And once more, big inhale and exhale fully. Slowly coming all the way up, let the arm come down. Opposite side, reaches really high. You want to create that space between the rib and the hip. And then over we go, chin away from the chest, so breathing in your sunshine, lengthening the body, inhaling here. And exhale fully. Two more big in breath. And exhaling fully. And once more, inhaling. Exhale fully. Slowly come all the way up and release. Let's interlace fingers, chin to chest, separate the shoulders, reaching and stretching further forward than you think you can. So opening out those shoulder blades as you reach and stretch and stretch and reach. Sit up tall, taking your hands to your heart. And again, chin to chest, stretch and reach. So open the shoulders, reaching a little more forward. So open and reach and reach and stretch. And then sitting up tall, hands into the heart. And once more, stretch and reach forward, forward, forward. And slowly sitting up. One hand to heart, one hand to your belly. And as you're breathing, I want you to feel like you're filling into your heart and your chest first and then big juicy fat bellies here. So inhale deeply. Feel the heart, the chest, the tummy, everything rises under your hands. And as you exhale, empty from the belly, empty from the heart, all the way down. So inhale, breathe into your heart, breathe into your belly. And as you exhale, soften and release all the way from your tummy, all the way out of your heart. And once more, nice big in breath. And exhale fully. And then we take our hands onto our knees. And we want to get that flow of energy right through the body. So circling around, imagining that you're just channeling all those good vibrations right up through your spine. Nice big circles here. And then we go opposite direction. So moving and stretching and breathing. And right back to center. Now holding the knees lifting the chin away from the chest. You're gonna inhale, come forward. Now, as you come forward, you lengthen out that back and exhale, rounding. Hold your knees and lean back slightly. And again, hinge forward. So you feel your tailbone opening, your chest coming to the floor. And then slowly roll back, your tailbone tucks under and you lean back just slightly. Two more like that. Nice, chin lifted, heart melting towards the earth, tailbone opening, creating space in your pelvis. And then slowly tucking under, rolling back, hold the knees and take it right back to center. Then from here, uncross your ankles, taking your two feet out in front of you. And we're just gonna take our knees over towards our left side. So your feet are stacked on top of each other. Your knees are over to the side. So my knees are going over towards the left. My right hand is down by my hip. I'm going to take my left arm. I'm going to inhale, reach and stretch over to the side. Our mermaid stretch here. So chin is up, stretch, reach and lengthen. And then float that left hand down, right down by the feet. Right arm comes up and over. And slowly come to center. Now my expectant mums, you stay and repeat that. Everybody else this time, we're going to inhale and lift up onto the knees, hips up, chin up, stretch and reach and lengthen. And then allow those hips to come down, hand comes to the floor and we stretch opposite direction. So mums to be, keep your knees on the floor. Last time, same exercise, 
right hand comes down, left hand comes up, we stand up on our knees, we press our hips towards the ceiling, the chin is up, lengthen that side body, and slowly come all the way down. Last time, just gently stretch, stretch, stretch with that right arm, and then slowly release, sitting up tall. Now take your left hand behind you, right hand comes onto that left knee, and just twist, opening the body, looking over the shoulder, Twist and twist and twist and come to center. Take your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you. Nice open twist here. Looking behind you, twisting and stretching and lengthening. And slowly come to center. Now take your time, walk the feet forward and then over to the opposite side. So my feet are coming over towards the right. I'm just stacking my feet on top of each other with the kind of the um the right foot is resting the arch of the left foot. I have my left hand down by my hip. My knees are resting on the floor. We're going for three of these, just like we did already. The first one, the knees stay on the floor. Then my expected mums, you keep your knees on the floor and everybody else lifts up. So uh, uh, weight is in that left hand. Right arm reaches up and we stretch over in a big juicy in-breath here, nourishing the body. And as you exhale, let that arm come down. Right hand to the floor and left arm reaches up and over. Now you'll see very quickly which are your tight spots here, but breathe into them. And then we allow the left hand to come down. Expect that mum's knees stay down. Everybody else, lift up, stretch up. Stand tall on your knees. Chin is away from the chest. Reach, stretch, stretch, reach. And then slowly let the hips come down. Arm comes down. Take it into that lovely side bend. And once more, hand comes down. Press the weight into the mat. Lift the hips up. Stretching over, chin away from the chest, hips up, arm over. And slowly we come down, hand comes down, stretching up and over. And slowly and gently release, brilliant. So you're gonna take your right hand behind you, left hand comes to that right knee, sit tall to begin, and then we twist and look over the shoulder. So using your eyes here, twisting the eyes is as important as what we're doing internally with the spine. So use your eyes to see a new point behind you as you twist and twist and twist and slowly come to center. Left hand comes behind you, right hand to the left knee, taking that lovely gentle twist, looking right back over the shoulder, rotate and twist and twist and rotate and slowly come to center. Now take your time, take both feet out in front of you, moving slowly. You're gonna take the soles of the feet together, knees are out to the side. Soles of the feet together, knees out to the side, just holding onto the toes and just gently fluttering the knees like little butterfly wings. Slow and gentle, just releasing any hip tension. And then you're gonna press your right elbow into the right knee. And we're gonna roll all the way till that knee comes to the floor lifting up the left butt cheek, press the elbow into the knee and slowly come to center. Same thing up to the side, left elbow pressing down, a little bit of space under the opposite butt cheek, shoulders are relaxing and slowly to center. Once more to each side, a little bit of pressure, elbow against the knee, roll onto that side, allow the opposite butt cheek to lift and center and last time, last side, lifting up, Holding and slowly to center. Now holding the toes, inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the chin. And as you exhale, fold as far forward as you can. Elbows press on both knees. Now you don't have to jam your head to the floor, but imagine that you're coming down with the head down. Only go to where it feels good. No extra pressure, just a stretch across the groin. Let the head come down and three deep breaths here. So inhale deeply and exhale fully. Two more, lovely long in breath. Let the head really go here, guys. Exhale fully. And once more, inhaling. And exhale fully. Then from here, walk the hands behind your bum. Slowly and gently, flatten the feet onto the mat. Pinch your shoulders together. Hands press into the mat. Shoulders are pinching together, so make sure you're not rounding forward. You want to really open the chest, press the hands into the mat, shoulders pinched together. We're going to lift our bellies up. So lift up, let the head hang back. Try to have your belly button the highest point in the room. Any, any issues with the neck or shoulders, you can keep looking forward. If the neck allows, let that head hang back, lifting up, 
Squeeze the shoulders, engage the glutes, belly button up nice and high. Just holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly we let that bum come down. Brilliant. And straight away we take the right leg out to the side. We take the left heel into the groin. Right leg is out, left heel is in. And we're just going to take a moment here. We're going to twist our whole body over towards that right leg. The right foot is flexed, nice and strong here. We're turning towards the right leg. And we're going to walk our hands down as far down that leg as we can. <coughs> Excuse me. So you, it means you might get your knee, your calf, your ankle. Some of you might take the toes. Doesn't matter how far you go. What matters is you feel the stretch and you keep that foot flexing. And we're just going to surrender down here. Doesn't matter what position you're in, but try and let that head go really heavy, like as if you're just letting it flop down. And that's going to lengthen the neck and the upper spine. So let the head go fully, bending the elbows, keeping the foot flexed. And we're going to inhale here and exhale fully. Two more big in breath and exhale fully. So surrendering towards the earth and once more life, big in breath, drop the shoulders guys, exhale fully, roll the body all the way up, brilliant. So just make sure the shoulders are relaxed as you're doing this. High your knees, let the right hand rest down on the knee, left hand comes up and we side bend here. So knee, you take your time, do a little warm up and then join in. And then when you're ready, it's three deep breaths. So inhaling, exhale fully. You can go a little further towards the toes, go for it. Inhale deeply and exhale fully. Focus on the side length here, guys. And once more, inhaling and exhale fully. Then we float that left hand all the way up, take it behind you. Right arm reaches up and like the mermaid, you're going to lengthen and reach that right arm over towards the left, keeping the leg flexed and come all the way back and we do the same thing to the opposite side. So take the left leg all the way out, right heel comes in and really important with that straight leg that it stays flexed. Once you let that leg go floppy, you're missing the stretch right around the ankle and the calf. So you want to keep the toes pointing back towards you, energy in that straight leg the whole time. We're going to turn our torso over the left leg. Inhale, we reach up. And as we exhale, we go to where the body can. So th that might be your knee, it might be your calf, it might be your ankle. You soften the shoulders. You're reaching towards the toes. Let the shoulders drop. You go wherever you can. And even if it's up really high here, let the head be fully floppy. As the body lengthens and releases, you may get further but then you really drop the shoulders and let the head come down. And all together, let's go to our three deep breaths and really have in your mind that you're surrendering your head towards your knee. So inhaling deeply here, exhaling fully, long in breath, exhale fully, and once more, inhaling, exhale fully, Slowly we roll the body all the way up, head last, come up. We're going to let our left hand rest palm facing up on our left thigh. Right arm reaches up and we side bend. So this might be your side bend. Watch, you're not choking here. You lift the chin. You focus on that length through the right side of the body. Anybody who's feeling a little bit more spacious here can reach down towards the foot. And whatever position you're in, you're just going to hold and lengthen here, reaching and extending for three breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Two more nice big in breath. And exhale. Focus on that side body space. And once more, inhaling. And exhaling. And slowly roll all the way up. Allow the arms to come down. Roll out the shoulders. Okay. From here, your left, your right heel is in towards your groin. Let's cross that left leg in. So you're sitting as we started. And then just left hand comes to the base of the spine, right hand to the left knee. And we twist and look right back over the shoulders. Just trying to create space to the spine as we twist and reach and lengthen. And slowly we come to center. And we do the same thing, opposite side, just twisting, twisting, twisting. 
and slowly coming to center. Now have a look at your feet. You're gonna just pick up your left leg, take your right heel closer to the pelvis and uh, right leg is out in front. So you just change the feet. And we're gonna start with a twist to the right side this time. So right hand behind you, left hand to the right knee. Nice gentle twist, looking over your shoulder. Twist and twist and twist. And then gently come to center. And opposite side, nice big twist here, looking over the shoulder. And slowly to center. And then we inhale, extend up into the fingers. And as we exhale, we reach as far forward as we can. And again, you may get stopped with a very small movement, or some of you might have to hinge right the way forward, taking chest towards the floor. Whatever position you're in, you're reaching as far forward as you can. You drop the shoulders, and then we let the head come down. And you want to feel the outside of the two hip joints stretching here. So go to where your body can. It can be as high or as low as works for your body. But surrender the forehead towards the floor. And we're going to breathe in deeply. And exhale fully. Two more. Inhaling. And exhaling. And once more. Nice big in breath. Exhaling. Roll the body all the way up. So last one like this before we move on to our hands and knees. We're just going to pick the left foot out, take that to the front, slide the right heel across, put it closer to the groin. So you're just changing the cross of your leg again here, guys. And then we reach high into the fingers and we fold forward. So you should feel the opposite side of the hips getting a bit of a stretch here. Again, if you're tight, you can be up high, but let the head hang down. Those of you a little bit looser, surrender the chest towards the earth. Let the head come down very heavy. And whatever position you're in, holding it and breathing, soften the shoulders, soften the neck. Heavy heads, three breaths here. So inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Long in breath. Exhale fully. And once more, inhaling. Exhaling. Roll the body all the way up. Amazing. So take your time and come forward onto your hands and knees. And if you need extra padding under the knees, set yourselves up. <clears throat> and we're gonna start here on the hands and knees, supported by the earth, just gently rocking the hips right and left. So making sure that your tummy muscles are drawing in and really exaggerate those lovely big hip circles here. Not hip circles, hip rocks, side to side. And then we're gonna take it into our circles, so circling the body around. So really, really great for getting into our lower back and not something we tend to do much of, wiggling that lower back and tailbone around. Go for it, move the body, and then we go opposite direction. Lovely, big, juicy movements. And then coming to center, draw your belly in, press into your hands, arch and reach the spine really high. And as you exhale, bum sticks out, eyes look towards the ceiling and sky. Again, draw your belly in, press into your hands, separate the shoulders, arching and reaching high as you can. Slowly and gently releasing, bum sticking out, eyes looking up. And once more, draw the tummy muscles in, press into your hands, arch and reach high. And slowly and gently release. Now walk your hands back towards your knees, take your time, stand nice and tall on your knees. So standing up tall on your knees, when you're ready, you're going to step your right foot forward, line yourself up. That your knee is coming straight out from the hip and your right ankle is directly under your left, sorry, right ankle under the right knee. And we're just going to lunge down so we feel that stretch through the groin, hands on the hips. Now make sure you're not tipping forward. You want the elbows back behind you, the heart and the tummy bursting forward and sink down. So you want to feel the stretch right deep into that left groin. So sink a little lower, eyes look up, sink down, sink down, sink down and then press through that front leg to bring you right back up. Again, hands on the hips, not really the hips, a little bit higher than the hips, the elbows back behind you. Lunge down, so as you lunge down, you're thinking the chest is forward, the belly is forward, 
you're sinking as low into it as you can. Get that stretch right through your hip flexor. Look up. Heart towards the sky. Breathe in that sunshine. Breathe in that summer. And then press through the front leg to come all the way back up. We're going to bring in the arms this time. It's the exact same movement. You want to get that knicker line stretch. So go for it here. Sink down low, as low as you can. And this time, inhale, extend the fingers towards the sky. So reach up, let the head bend back if the neck allows, otherwise gaze is forward. So imagine I'm pressing the pelvis down a little lower, and then I'm opening your heart, look to the sky. Stretch and reach a little higher, hips a little lower. Openness, joy, stretch and reach that sunshine. And then hands come down, keep the hips as they are. Left hand comes to the mat. Right arm reaches to the sky. Okay, option one, you stay right there. If that feels okay for you, tuck the left toes under, lift the left leg, uh, lift the left knee up and stretch into the heel. So open bodies, reaching and stretching, stretching and reaching, eyes up towards the sky, hand rooting into the earth, sink a little lower through the hips, reaching high, sinking low, holding. And then drop the back knee down. Let that right hand rest on the right knee. So we're just going to bend the left knee in. That might be your maximum. And my expected mum, stay right there. Everybody else, if you can, you're going to swoop the right arm round and see if you can find that foot. Now, you may not find the foot and you can just hold it and reach. You may find your traxy bottoms or you may get the foot. Whatever point you're in is perfect. Sink a little lower, bend your elbow towards the sky and stretch out that quad. So you go to where your body can. There's no rush, no hurry. If you have a band or a circle or something to loop the foot, that's brilliant. My expected ones, I wouldn't really bother with this part. I would just stay with that heel into the bum. Elbow bends up. Look back towards your elbow. And then slowly and gently release. Taking your time, standing back on the knees. Take your time, walk that right knee back. And then on both knees, we're gonna circle around the pelvis. So circling round, doing big juicy bum circles here. And then we go opposite direction, circling. And then we come back to center. We bend forward, send our tail way out behind us. And then we stand tall, we rock the pelvis forward like we're closing it and we lean back slightly. Again, send that tailbone way back behind us. And then rocking forward. So we're doing all these movements to make space in your body, space in your day. And last time, hinging forward. And standing tall, little rock, leaning back. And take it to center. So when you're ready, you're going to take the opposite foot forward. So the whole idea with doing the, this type of class on a Saturday morning, it's like a little spring clean for your body. It's dusting off the cobwebs, creating space in the body, creating space in the head. And that's how it sets you up for a really good weekend. So really nice thing to do, particularly on your birthday, Helena, or everybody on a Saturday morning, it's fantastic. So we're gonna do the same moves, elbows back behind you, open the heart, open the pelvis, and you're gonna lunge down nice and low. So lunge down low, your gaze is forward. <coughs> <coughs> You're stretching into the groin, elbows back behind you, heart bursting forward. Sink a little lower. Don't be afraid of that stretch. That's what we're here for. And then press through the front foot. Come all the way back up. Second uh, set, same thing. Keep the heel really heavy, grinding into the earth. And you lean forward. Now eyes up towards the sky. Open the heart, breathe in all those good vibrations, stretch into your groin, and then press through the heel, come all the way back up. We're gonna do one more like that. We're gonna bring in the arms. So sink down, heart open. Imagine I'm pressing the pelvis forward, then on your in-breath, reach into the fingers, soften the shoulders, reach a little higher, open the heart, lengthen up. Deep, full in-breath, long, slow exhales. Sink a little lower, reach a little higher. And then release. Release that right hand to the floor this time. Holding here. If it feels okay, we extend the left arm towards the ceiling and we twist our gaze to look right up at that thumb. If that feels uncomfortable, your gaze stays at the floor. Option, 
stay here or to go a little deeper. We took the right toes under and we lengthened that right heel back. So as you're lengthening the right heel back, drive the heel away from you. Eyes are right up towards the fingers. Stretch and breathe and lengthen. And lengthen, breathe and stretch. Keep driving the heel back. Keep energy into those fingertips. Looking high, stretching the heel, smiling and breathing and lengthening. Think lower through the front hip. Stretch deeper through the back heel. And smile and breathe and fill your day with sunshine. And then we place the back knee down. From here, my, you can rest the left hand and the left knee. Option one, we just bend the heel in and we stay in a position like this. Option two, if you feel you've got this, take the left hand back and try and find the foot. Either staying like this or sweep a loop around your foot or you may be able to take the foot, whatever feels good for you. Once you've got that, you bend your elbow towards the ceiling, towards the sky, look back towards that elbow, keep working heel to the bum, stretch and breathe and feel the whole front side of your quad, the front of your thighs opening here. Bending elbow towards the sky, heel coming in towards the butt, stretching and breathing and lengthening. And then slowly and gently releasing. Press into your hands, stand up nice and tall on the knees. And then slowly and gently we step that foot back, so back on both knees. Straight away we're going to drop down onto our hands. We're going to send our knees out nice and wide to each side of the mat. Let the toes and heels come together. So little froggy knees here. Knees are out, feet are touching. And then we drop the butt right back to the heels. So keep the knees wide, keep the feet together. Drop the tailbone all the way back. And then if you can, come up onto the tips of your fingers. Claw and creep those fingers forward. Soften the shoulders. And if it feels okay for you, melt the head down. So you're on the tips of your fingers. Energy pressing into the pads of your fingers. Your butt is dropping back to your heels. Your chest, your heart, everything is melting towards the earth. Sink as low into it as you can, but keep pressing into the pads of your fingers. So it's only the fingers pressing into the earth. Breathe deep and full here. Long, slow, deep in breaths. And deep, full exhales. Inhaling peace. And exhaling, releasing. Long, loving in breaths. And a feeling of surrender as you exhale. And lift the head, staying on those claws. Walk your hands back in, round the spine all the way up. So from this position, just rock slightly forward, tuck your toes under. I'm going to try and stay with the heels coming towards each other and standing nice and tall here. So a nice stretch of the arch of the feet. So staying in this position, really feel like the weight is coming down through your hips, stretching into your heels. Shoulders are soft, a little twist here. So left hand holds that left heel and we twist, look right back over that left shoulder. Keep the weight going through the feet, really stretching out the arch of the soles of those feet. Coming to center, twisting opposite side. And coming to center. Let's take our knees back to parallel, but our toes are still tucked. We inhale, reach up, stand up tall. Keep the toes tucked, hands behind the head. Option one, we just look towards the sky, small little uh, back bend here. Option two, we keep pressing our big toes down, we let the head hang back a little, high, little heavier. And option three, we press the hips forward, keep pressing your big toes into the ground, pressing your hips forward and bending back only as far as feels comfortable elbows towards the sky smiling and breathing towards the sky pressing the hips forward keep pressing your big toes down and then we come to center we untuck our toes feet flat to the floor we slowly let the bums come back down towards the heels the elbows are forward we draw the belly in and we curl into the tiniest little ball we can be now my expectant moments, particularly my bigger bumps, you may get stuck very soon on, that's fine. Everybody else, you've got a bit more space, go lower. Keeping bum on the heels, keeping chin to the chest and curl as the tiniest little ball you can be. So wherever that is for you, so long as you feel your spine stretching, you've nailed it. Everybody, draw the belly in, have a big double chin here, chin to the chest, curling, stretching, lengthening, lengthening, curling, stretching. Create that lovely, juicy space between each vertebrae. 
and then slowly roll the body all the way up. Head at last, come up, woo! And release. You should feel like a little new spine after those last few. So when you're ready, take it forward onto your hands and knees again. And have a look at your hands. Sometimes when you're practicing yoga for a while, you forget the basics. So really spread those fingers out wide. Your middle finger should be pointing forward and the fingers are spread really wide. And focus on pressing the index finger and your thumb, your first finger and your thumb into the earth. Make sure you're not lifting those up. So press down, that's gonna protect your shoulders. Set the shoulders down the back, draw those bellies in. Toes are tucked under, we lift the knees, we send the hips back and keep the knees bent here for a moment for me and just stretch into our first downward dog. So we want that long spine, the knees are bending, we're pressing the floor away, shake out the neck, head is really heavy here. Press the hands into the earth, stretch back into the heels, and then stretch the right heel into the mat, bending the left knee, and switch, and switch, and switch. Bending both knees, sinking as low as you can, let your chest come towards those thighs, and then press to straighten, drop the heels. And again, we bend the knees, exaggerate a big juicy bend here. And we press to straighten, let the head hang. The last one, big bend. And we straighten. Now, small bend of the knees here. Walk your hands back to your feet. And we're just going to hang here at the back of the mat. Let's take hold of the elbows. Shake out the neck. And then just tip that body weight forward into your toes as far forward as you can. And drop the weight right back into your heels. Again, we tip it forward. And as we tip it forward, we use those heavy, heavy heads to lengthen the spine. And then we drop it right back onto your heels. And the last one, forward into your toes, as far forward as you can. And we drop it back. Small bend of the knees, hands on the hips. Draw your bellies in. And think about each vertebrae. Stack each vertebrae. So slowly rolling up, slowly with control, rounding all the way up, all the way up, head last, come up and breathe. Again, we're gonna have one hand in our heart and one hand in our belly, and we're gonna focus on really filling the heart and tummy on the inhale and surrendering it in on the exhale. So inhale, big belly breath here. Exhale, emptying from the tummy first. We're gonna do four more like that. Big belly breath here, inhale. Exhale fully. Three more, inhaling. And exhaling. Two more, long loving in breath. And exhale fully. Once more, breathing in. Exhale, squeezing out. Arms down by your side. Returning to your regular breath. Imagine I'm lifting you up by the breastbone. Your shoulders are down. Strong feet, tummy muscles drawing in. Reaching, rooting into the earth. And crown the head, reaching towards the sky. Feeling really connected to the earth and really grounded in your practice this morning. So you, the earth, the sky, all one. Breathing in all those good vibrations, taking that sunshine into your soul. And then inhale, reach and stretch through the ceiling, through the sky, lifting up. At the same time, you're pressing your heels into the earth and you're creating that space, space in the body, space in the mind, even space with the breath by reaching and stretching and lengthening and really setting yourself up for the most spacious, peaceful weekend. Exhale, hands come down in front of the heart and we bend the knees. Let the head hang first and use the weight of the head to roll towards the earth. Then we drop the hands. The head is leading the way here as you roll towards the earth. We're going to take a moment to hang here. Inhale, lift the heart, look forward. Exaggerated big bend in the knees and we walk out into plank. Hold in your plank position. 
I'm expecting mums stay like this. If you're feeling strong, you want to challenge the abs and you're not expecting a baby, let's lift that right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, holding 5, 4, <clears throat> 3, 2, 1. Return her to the floor. If you need to take a break, place the knees down. Otherwise, left leg lift and we're holding 10, 9, 8, chin up, 7, 6, hold it, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, return the foot. Now everybody needs the floor. Inhale, lift the heart forward. So send the shoulders back, the hips and pelvis forward, eyes look up, smile and stretch and fill your body with good vibrations. And on your exhale, press through the hands, lift the hips, lift the pelvis, sending bum back towards heels, toes tuck under, and we lift into downward dog. So press the floor away, stretch right back into your heels, draw those bellies in, shake out the neck, maybe bending one leg, bending the other. And we're all going to stay here for five breaths. We're going to focus on breathing into the back of the body. So right up at that middle back area. Let the head go, inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Two more inhaling. And exhale fully. And once more, nice big in breath. And exhale. Big bend in the knees. Walk your hands right back to your feet. Last time today, we're going to just hold here and hang. Take the elbows, shake the neck. Tip that body forward into your toes. So use that lovely heavy head to lengthen the spine. So stretch out that body. And then drop the weight onto your heels. And again, tip it forward, all the way forward onto your toes. And then stretch back into your heels. And the last time, forward 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 and drop it back bend the knees hands on the hips and think about what you're doing here you're going to draw the belly in you're going to stack each vertebrae you're going to slowly round coming all the way up each vertebrae is rounding all the way up all the way up head last come up and then we're back to one hand heart, one hand belly, and those three exaggerated belly breaths here. So inhale deeply and exhale fully. Inhaling and exhale. We squeeze the belly on the end of the exhale. Inhale last time and exhale. Amazing. Take the toes and heels together, lift the heart, draw the belly in. We're going to take the weight into our right leg and let the left foot come to the ankle or the calf. And only if your balance is really good today, you can take the heel to the groin. There's no rush in doing that unless you have a really good balance this morning. The chest lifts, the tummy muscles are in, the hands are in prayer. And we're standing really tall here. So crown the head towards the ceiling, foot rooting into the earth. And you're going to really draw the belly in and just your final posture before our meditation, root into the earth, strengthen up your core and lift the crown of the head towards the sky. Inhale, separate the arms and reach high. So reach that sunshine, lengthen and reach and stretch and reach a little higher. And then hands come into prayer above the head. And imagine you're drawing that sunshine right down into your heart. So slowly and gently taking it all the way in. And then we're going to stack both hands in front of our heart. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Inhaling. Exhale fully. Two more. Breathing in deeply. And exhaling fully. And your last one. Inhaling. And exhaling. And release. Okay, so very hard to stand on one leg. But there's absolutely no rush to go high up to the groin. Standing at the ankle is perfect or the calf. Taking the heel to the groin is fancy, particularly if the head is busy or you have a lot going on. So I'd never worry about that. So strong through the opposite leg. Now we're taking into the left leg, 
focus on one point in front of you, meditate on that point, root your foot into the earth. So really strong, keep the big toe pressing down and that right foot comes to your ankle or your calf and only bother if your balance is rock solid today, take that heel to the groin. My own balance is all over the place. So I'm just gonna try it out and I might take it lower if I start to wobble. So we lift the heart, we draw the belly in, we focus forward and we're rooting our foot into the earth. We're lifting our heart towards the heavens and we'll start with our hands in prayer. And then when you're ready, inhale, reaching up really high. So reach for the sky, stretch the heavens and engage that whole body, squeezing every muscle, tightening it up and stretch for your sunshine. Lengthen and stretch and reach really high. And then hands in prayer. Like if you're just taking the sunshine, you're holding it here. Draw that sun right down in front of your heart. And then we're gonna stack the hands in front of the heart. We're gonna breathe that sunshine into our body. Three breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Two more, inhale deeply and exhale fully. And once more, it'll be long in breath and exhale fully. Amazing, slowly and gently release the foot. The balance is better on the second side, guys. Really well done. And then when you're ready, we're gonna to come to our comfortable seat where we're gonna spend five minutes on our meditation and then we're gonna follow that out with our relaxation. So for meditation, the most important thing is a straight spine. So you may be comfier on a chair that can support your back or slide right into a wall and use the wall to help prop you up. If you're happy and comfortable sitting freestyle in, the, in that uh, comfortable cross-legged position, fantastic. You can always throw the legs out either. The real thing you're looking for here is the straight spine. So whatever position you're in, if you can lift the heart, soften the shoulders, and imagine you're creating a little bit of space between each vertebrae, that's a really good meditation position. So feel free to use a wall, use a couch, whatever you've got, whatever props you've got to help you lengthen up if you find the sitting the hardest part. Then once you've got your comfortable seat for meditation, I want you to close the eyes and soften and relax and release into it. So have no expectations, you've no idea how it's going to go. Every time you do this, it's gonna be a little bit different. But we're gonna repeat what we've been building the last few weeks. We're gonna count up to 10, inhale one, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two. You may be at a point where you don't need to do that anymore and you can just sit and be still without the mind racing. If you can, that's perfect. I'm gonna talk you through the first round, get you up to 10 and back down. And then I'm going to leave you in stillness, but I'm right here. And once we've done five minutes of this, we're onto the floor for our rest. So lifting the heart, softening the shoulders, drawing the belly in and dropping into your calm, soft, still space. If you choose to follow along with me, we're going to inhale one, exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three, inhale four, exhale four, inhale five, exhale five, inhale six, exhale six, inhale seven, exhale seven, inhale eight, Exhale eight. Inhale nine. Exhale nine. Inhale ten. Exhale ten. Inhale nine. Exhale nine. Inhale eight. Exhale eight. Inhale seven. Exhale seven. Inhale six, exhale six. Inhale five, exhale five. Inhale four, exhale four. Inhale three, exhale three. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale one, exhale one. Continue on your own.
slowly seeing your breath entering and leaving your body. Really congratulating yourself. Five minutes of stillness and space and calm. And just moving your fingers, moving your toes. And then when you're ready, just placing yourself in your favorite spot for relaxation. You might continue to sit. You might choose to lie. You might grab blankets, pillows, socks, whatever it is that makes you drop down and surrender. Take a few moments. Keep feeling the breath moving slowly through you as you prepare for your final rest. To invite rest, relaxation, and restoration to your body. Taking as much time as you need to get comfortable, soften, surrender, and relax. Allowing your body melt soften, be at ease, spreading those peaceful vibrations to where your body needs it most, chest and tummy rising, chest and tummy softening, inhaling peace and exhale release. Softening your feet. Let the ankles soften, knees, thighs relaxing. Softening your hips, your pelvis, and your bum. Relaxing your lower back, your middle back, and your upper back. And spreading that softness in the shoulders, just tips of the fingers. Letting go of your neck, your jaw, and your cheeks. Softening, relaxing, and releasing the eyes, eyebrows, forehead, and scalp. Just really inviting your chest and tummy to rise and soften. Inhaling peace, exhaling, releasing. Just nourishing your body, quieting your mind. I'm really celebrating your practice today. Being so grateful to yourself for gifting yourself an hour with nothing to do but move and breathe. I'm really taking all those great vibrations to where your body needs them most. Nourishing, restoring, Replenishing your energy, healing your body, and hopefully feel more spacious. Your body, your breath, and your mind, maybe even in your heart. So stay, rest, recover. Take as long as you can here to bathe in your own stillness. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I'm on my holidays for a week. So we're back for live classes on the 28th. I hope to see you soon. Keep up the home practice. Lots of love. Namaste.